the question is, what is the Grinch's dog's name? And you hopefully know that his name is... <laughs> his name is Max. That's better than the morning class, actually. Okay? Uh, and the reason that I asked that... <laughs> the reason that I asked that is because it's kind of fun. And plus... Um, when I think about acceleration, I think about the scene in the Grinch, like the not the Jim Carrey one, like the you know the real Grinch, right? I think about that scene when Max is pulling the Grinch down the hill, and the big sled goes so fast that it actually overtakes the dog, and the dog goes there, and he comes back around like this, right? And when my kids were little, they always thought that was hilarious, and I would yell at the screen, "That's not physically possible!" Because <laughs> I like to do that in movie theaters. I like to point out the physics inaccuracies. It drives the people around me nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. So if you hear, eh? well, they should be accelerating at the same rate because the angle of the, you know. Yeah, with the mass and everything else. It shouldn't matter. They might be accelerating at their velocity. How about the wind resistance? Because it's round. Yeah, there's a little wind resistance, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a picture of the dog. That is the dog. Really? Yeah. That's the dog. Okay. Oh, good. So today's topic is, I need you guys to listen. Because uh, you should have one of these as well. Okay. Because you don't need to get one. Because you don't need to get one. Because you should have one of these as well. You don't need to get one. Today's topic is acceleration. Um, I found over the years that it's not as well understood as people think it is. So I'm going to spend most of the day talking about acceleration. So before I begin, I want you to think: What does acceleration really mean to you? And does anyone want to volunteer an answer? Benjamin? Uh, speeding up. Speeding up, says Ben. Is there anything more to that? Anything more to it than just speeding up or slowing down? Time it takes to speed up, says Kish. So it's a time, acceleration is the time? Sure. The change in your speed. Change in your speed? What if I'm, uh, what if I'm driving up down the highway, I've got my cruise control set, and I'm going to, to McCreary, and I make the corner there at St. Rose, uh, and my speedometer never changes, but I go around the corner. Have I accelerated? My speed hasn't changed. I haven't touched the brakes. No, you haven't. I haven't accelerated? Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Well, first of all, I'd like you to answer this question. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's me. It's me. Oh, I always do that. Why do I always do that? Kish is so excited. I got this one. Maybe Kish is lying. Wow, well, okay. E. Number two, acceleration is like velocity A, vector, or B, scalar? And yes, the answer is... Are you kidding me, kids? First rule, think for yourself. Thanks, kid. Right? No, no. But you should make a mental note never to listen to it again. Yep. Why would you lie to us? Acceleration like velocity is a vector quantity. Vector. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Can we be positive? Acceleration can yes. be positive, which means to the left, to the right, to the upper, to the down. And do I need to start it? Same. Yeah. Let's see. Positive acceleration does that mean left, right, up, or down? On what? How can it be A, B, C, N? Try. It could be B or C. Try. Try. Oh shoot! I can't finish it. I, I already finished it. Okay to be wrong. Oh, I've been wrong three times then. Okay. I didn't say that. I said if you want to try it, go ahead. It's okay to be wrong. I disagree. If you're wrong, you'll learn something. If you're right and you guessed, you won't learn anything. Logan Yan? And the correct answer is B and C. B 
and C. Positive acceleration means to the right. Uh, I got it wrong. Well, that's, the F. I don't like this. It's okay. Is it with B and C? Okay, well, let's try another one. Oh, I think I got this one. Let's try negative acceleration. Let's try negative acceleration here. Correct answer is A and B. Negative acceleration is left and down, right? Ben, I need you guys to listen. What's going down? Yeah. Yes. 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 We'll, we'll get to that. Well, it depends on what you got, really, right? Okay. Here's the next one. Now, think carefully here. Oh, so my brain's not Yeah, you're not supposed to. That's the answer. Does deceleration always mean slowing down? Oh, why can't I put yes and no? <laughs> Correct answer is well, it's yeah. sort of no. It's sort of no. Okay? Now, let me just explain myself a little here. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew, the explanation is important, okay? Just because you guessed right, it's not a big deal. Relax, you need to listen. Okay, so what I mean here is acceleration to the left, like deceleration sort of implies deceleration sort of implies negative acceleration, right? Yeah. Okay? And negative acceleration is not necessarily slowing down. Okay? Now, I will try not to use the word deceleration because in my mind, deceleration does actually mean slowing down. But deceleration, you could argue, well, that's negative acceleration. And if the object is already moving to the left, if it has a negative velocity of like negative 5, and you accelerate at minus 2, then it's going to actually speed up. Okay, because the negative, in this case here, the negative means that it's moving to the left. To the, left. the acceleration is negative, which means it's to the left, so it's in fact speeding up to the left. Okay, now, so let me just go back there. Deceleration generally does mean slowing down. But if you want to argue that deceleration is negative acceleration, you have to be careful because negative acceleration doesn't necessarily mean slowing down. So then you're telling me in deceleration you can be slowing down in a positive manner. If I'm moving forward, like if this is reversed, right? If I've got a velocity that's forward, a velocity of plus 5, and I have an acceleration of minus 2, well, then it's going to slow down. slow down. But if my acceleration is not minus 2, if it's plus 2, then it's going to speed up. But if you're fighting at a 5, and then it's plus 2. Then, then that would be slowing down as well, right? Okay. Now, these are technically no's. You can write it down if you want. Is there anything in the last few slides that you need to absolutely positively write down? No. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one for sure. Well, then start writing. Is there anything in these slides here that you absolutely positively need to write down? No. no. I don't think so. No. Yes. What about that one? Yes. yes. Does that look like something important? Yeah, that looks important. Yeah? Okay. Is it? You tell me. So, the technical science definition of acceleration is the time rate of change in velocity. Notice that I use the word velocity and not speed. Time rate of change in velocity. And we all remember from our favorite supervillain, actually I guess he's called Vector, isn't he, right? Yeah. Velocity is a vector because he has both size and magnitude. Magnitude and direction. Magnitude and direction. So if acceleration is the change in velocity, you have to be changing both the magnitude and direction or magnitude or direction. What do you word that the second one? The second one. Only one. So let me go back to my question about driving around the corner at St. Rose. If I go around the corner at a constant 
speed, but I change my direction, am I accelerating? And the answer is yes, I am. Most certainly I am changing my direction, and so therefore I'm changing my velocity, which means I am accelerating. Yes, you will then. That is my goal. It's really confusing. Okay, I haven't finished explaining it. I'm going to keep sort of going over it again. Aurora has a question. I don't even know how to word it. Okay, do you want to try? Okay, um, so if you change a direction in one way, does that mean you're accelerating, and in another way, you're negative accelerating? Well, here's where things get a little bit sticky. Let's Can we go back to my St. Rose corner idea again, right? So I'm traveling, I guess I'm traveling east, right? Traveling east towards St. Rose, and I end up going south like that, right? Okay, so I've changed my direction from east to south. So are you kind of asking me which way, what's the direction of the acceleration? Is that what you're asking me? Yeah? Okay, so what direction is the acceleration? Like if I had to draw an acceleration vector in black, which way would I draw it? Is that now Ben, I'm gonna interpret that as either this way or this way. No. Oh. Okay, then I didn't get it. You, or this way. Yeah. So Ben says, I'm gonna draw it by he says the acceleration is that way. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Do I change the direction of it? No, it's important. So remember I'm traveling east, like if you're looking at a map here, right? Yeah. We're looking down, we're up in the sky, we see the car driving east, and then it goes like this, right? If I had to, um, if I could push the car or pull it, which way would I have to push or pull to make it go around the corner? Southwest. Yeah, that's sort of that line, but other way, opposite way out. That way. Like that? Yeah. That's the direction of the acceleration. Okay? That's that's a bit of an advanced concept. You certainly don't need to get that right away, but okay. Let's go back to the definition here. Acceleration is the time rate of change of velocity. Let me give that to you in a maybe a more English sort of way. It's how fast an object's velocity is changing. How fast an object's velocity is changing, or if you want to say how fast is an object's velocity increasing or decreasing, right? Because it doesn't have to be increasing; it could be decreasing. So it's how fast an object's velocity is changing, or how fast is an object's velocity increasing or decreasing? The object's velocity has to be increasing or decreasing, and if it's changing fast, then it's high acceleration. If it's changing slow, then that's slow acceleration. If I got out my volleyball and I threw it at Miguel's head and he caught it, he would have to take the speed of the ball, maybe say like 100 miles an hour, <laughs> maybe not, and he'd have to get that down to zero really fast, right? That would be high acceleration with his face or his hands or whatever, probably his hands. Okay? Now, if I were to say throw that volleyball at 100 miles an hour into, say, a pool of water, how fast would it slow down? Probably slower, right? Because it would sort of, you know, sink maybe. Maybe it wasn't a volleyball. The volleyball would probably float with it. Okay? If, like, the volleyball hits the wall, would that kind of slow down before it changes direction? Yes, it does. Because, in fact, it has to go to zero and come back. In fact, when it changes direction, it actually has a much higher acceleration than if you just catch it. Okay? Here's another way of putting acceleration. It's how fast you get to how fast you are going. This is another Let me read it again. Just another way of describing it. How fast you get to how fast you are going. How fast do you get to top speed? How fast do you get to top speed? Okay, let's talk about vehicles. If I jump on a Lamborghini that I have parked in my garage at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, sorry. Maybe it's a Camry. That's right. Anyways, if I jump my Lamborghini, right, I go from zero to say, let's say it tops out at 100. <laughs> it's a kit car. Tops out at 100. But it gets there really quick. Like, I can go from zero to 100 in like a half a second. That's like really good. 
acceleration. High acceleration, right? If I go home and I jump in my uh, my big semi, right? It goes to 100, but it takes a long time to get up to 100. It has no acceleration. It doesn't matter what top speed is. They're both 100. It's how fast you get there. Right? It's how fast you get there that matters. It does sound like a song, right? Physics song. Oh, yeah. Would you help me out then? No. The physics song? Maybe. You know yeah. what? There's probably some what about the equation for acceleration? Right. Don't listen to Matthew. Yeah. The correct answer is D. <laughs> Correct answer is D. Now, is that something you should probably jot down? Yeah. I'm thinking maybe. Okay. Right? In fact, yeah, you should know. I'm kind of surprised. I thought maybe more people would have got it. In fact, none of those formulas actually exist. No. Not only are they not correct for acceleration, but they don't even exist at all, right? And why is it that? Because acceleration is change in velocity over the change in time. And remember that velocity can refer to either negative speed or direction. Okay? Speed or direction. In fact, if we go back to my St. Rose corner, right? You can, if you know the speed here, like let's say it's 100 kilometers an hour, and here it's 100 kilometers an hour, and this is east and this is south, you can actually calculate a mathematical value, a numerical value for the acceleration. Well, it's a vector, it's a vector question. It's the change in velocity. This is the final velocity. This is the initial velocity, right? Sorry, not delta. This is the vi. So we're going to go vf minus vi. It's a vector question is what it is. It's going to be this minus this one. You get your acceleration like that. So it's just adding You're adding the opposite, right? This is the final, straight down. This is negative initial. That's your acceleration, down to the left. You don't need to worry about that. Yet. Don't worry about that. But I'm just saying you can actually calculate it. Okay. Here's the displacement time graph. You may have noticed that it's the first one on the sheet that you've got. In the graph below, the displacement graph is a curved line. This means that the velocity is increasing, sorry, the velocity is decreasing, increasing, or staying the same. Correct answer? B, increasing. <laughs> increasing. Who got it right? Mary, tell me how you know it's increasing. Uh, yeah, that's like three quarters of the way right, I think, almost. I'm looking for the, can you use the word slope in your answer? Slope gets steeper. The slope is increasing. Okay, so here the slope is like this. Here it's like that. There it's like that. So the answer is increasing, right? In fact, I've got fine print. Slope is changing. In fact, I would say the slope is increasing. Okay, so this is a DT graph. Displacement time or position time graph. Good? Absolutely, yeah, it's yours. Yeah. Okay. Since the velocity graph increases at a constant rate, now you can't tell that from the picture. I'm just going to tell you that it's increasing at a constant rate. The velocity graph is which one of these? Is it a flat line? Is it an increasing straight line or is it a decreasing straight line? This is the position time graph. These are velocity time graphs. Which one matches? Correct answer is? B. Blue. B is the correct answer. Okay? Let's just talk about that. How come it's B? Okay. Watch, watch. How come it's B? Here the velocity, the slope is zero. 
and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? If I if I wrote values for the slope, it would be like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The value, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Okay, now I'm not going to make you guess this one. Well, maybe I, I gave you a quick look there, right? What do you think the acceleration graph is going to look like? Wow. Keeping in mind that acceleration is the change in the velocity over the time. A. I'm going with A. No, what's the shape of the graph look like? Blue. Okay? The acceleration graph, this is something you need to write down. This is important. Big start. I was right. The acceleration graph is a graph of the slope of the velocity time graph. So like the whole thing. Yeah. Can we shorten that? By all means. Where's my highlighter thing? The acceleration graph is a graph of the slope of the velocity time graph. Just like velocity is the slope of the position, acceleration is a graph of the slope of the velocity. Okay? The acceleration graph is a graph of the slope of the velocity time graph. The slope of this graph just happens to be 0.4. So in other words, if I go back, and I'm going to flip back here, just watch for a second. If I were to find the slope of this graph, what would be the slope? 0.4. 0.4. If I found the slope, because it's a constant slope, that slope is my acceleration, it would be shown like this, right? It would be a constant point. Okay? This is what is known as uniformly accelerated motion. Interesting. Okay, so you really need to get this. This is a pretty important concept. The fact that you need to take the slope of slope of the oops slope of the velocity time graph is what gives you the acceleration. The slope is a constant slope because it's a straight line, which means the slope of that is 0.4. So I get a flat acceleration. Most graphs are flat accelerators. Things tend to not accelerate at varying degrees, right? When you jump in your car and you put your foot on the gas, it tends to accelerate at a constant speed. It doesn't speed up at a weird kind of changing rate kind of thing, right? This is called uniformly accelerated motion. Uniform means same. same. So the motion is increasing at a constant rate. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. You got to decide. But I do know you're spending more time trying to... This velocity time graph, which you have on the sheet, is an example of what we call variable acceleration. Variable means something that changes. So here the acceleration is changing. I've sort of given the answer away. Correct answer is A, not constant. I, you guys didn't hear me, did you? I did. What does variable acceleration mean? Variables are things that change. Change. So if it's variable acceleration, it's not changing. Or it is changing, it's not constant. No. no. Variable means not constant. Variable acceleration, not constant. Not something that you see a lot of. Okay, I'm now going to ask you the hardest question of the day. So think. Think. Don't listen to anyone else. Think for yourself. Okay. Yeah, no. Well, I'm so I, I can't help to. I mean, I can put a battery in, but. It'll be faster. Uh, uh, this is a velocity time graph. No. Huh? When, what did you ask me? Yeah, it does look like that. Yeah, it's just a little wiggle or whatever. Okay. 
Where's the lid for this one? Tristan. Oh, really? Okay. Chandler, I need an answer. I know the answer. I don't need to think. I wouldn't guess. I'd think it through. Why don't you just do it? Never mind. I'm giving you the fish, my friend. Yes. No, I'm not. Yes. There will be some. There will be some beaking going on. I'm sure in about thirty seconds. Some of you will be right, some of you will be wrong. Are you putting up on the new Yeah. Yeah, you're out with teenagers long enough, yeah. Hey, baby, my hair will grow back. I wish. All students, I wish it would just stop growing. Oh, yeah, that would look awesome. I should, you know, I'm starting to think about just buzzing it right now. Oh, I don't do that. You're going to go bald? I'll do it if you do it. Yeah? It's not near as much risk for me. I think I would. I've gone almost bald, but never completely bald. Yeah? Stefan did it two years ago. You're so mad. You should do it. I think I can roll around. You should wear your mustache. I will. I always do the Movember mustache. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Are you ready? Are you a little nervous? No. No. I know I got it right. I'm a little bit nervous. Whoa! Almost fifty-fifty. Almost fifty-fifty. All right. So, someone that said no. Who said no and got it right? I did. I did. Sam, tell us why no is the correct answer. The, exactly. The velocity is never negative. Okay? Now, if this were, were a displacement time graph, then yes, but it's not. It's a velocity time graph, and the velocity is never negative. Then yes, you know that. Uh, let me just hang on a second. Just hang on a second. So now, what I want you to do is, okay. I want you to draw a velocity time graph with a similar shape that show that does show the object moving backwards. The same shape. I want to see the same shape, but this time it is moving backwards. What would it look like? I know. I know. Matthew's going to draw for us his answer. Let's ask him. Ha ha. Okay, that is the velocity time graph. Is he right? Yes. Yes, he's absolutely right. Thank you. Okay. When is it moving backwards? Down there. When the velocity is negative, right? Then that's the answer to your question, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. You'll notice that the slope of the curve is not always positive, right? In fact, between A and B, the average slope would be some negative value, right? Right? In fact, between points A and B, the delta V, the change in velocity would be, it goes from 4 down to 2, change in velocity would be minus 2, the time is from 4 to 7 seconds or 3 seconds, and my acceleration would be 2 minus 4, or minus 2, 7 minus 4, or 3, minus 0.67. The average acceleration between those two points is minus 0.67 meters per second squared. Let's talk about the units here. Where do the meters per second squared come from? Bo? Try to refrain from doing that, please. Where do the meters per second squared come from? Don't write this down, just watch. Put your pens down, just watch. Okay? The units on the acceleration are meters per second squared. Remember that acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity, and velocity is the rate of change of displacement. So in other words, as a formula, right, except, don't write this down, 
Acceleration is delta V over delta T, but delta V can be written as you know, delta D over delta T. So what I really have is acceleration is D over T over T. Now, if I took the units, the matching units for that, D is in meters. Don't write this down. D is in meters. T is in seconds. T is in seconds. So I've got meters per second per second. Remember dividing fractions. So that's meters per second divided by seconds over one. When you divide fractions, you flip. So I've got meters per second times 1 over seconds. And when you multiply, you multiply across. And so I've got meters times 1 are meters, and seconds times seconds, which is second, second squared. And that, my friends, is where the unit for acceleration comes from. Your choice. No. No.